Okay, uh, hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial series type thingy on um, sort of user avatar upload images, uh, things like that. So it's basically like you would get on like a standard forum system or something like that, um, uh, where like the user is able to upload an image that they want. I don't know. I guess the idea is that it kind of represents them in some way. I don't really know what the point of them is, but it's quite a nice feature to provide to your users, and it's something that's really easy to do. So I will make a video on how to do it. Um, before we get into anything to do with this, um, I should probably mention that this does follow on from my user profiles um, tutorial so um, the stuff I'm going to talk about and cover here isn't um, specific to that so you can still follow along um, and you should be able to sort of make a, a sort of example type thing um, but it would be harder for you to follow this if you want to sort of copy the code basically um, not that I recommend doing that anyway but it's up to you so you might want to go and watch my user profile video first Anyway, um, getting on to what I want to do in this video is, as usual, uh, a small demonstration. So these are the three pages that we created as part of the user profile tutorial. Um, and if we just go to the user list, you can see that we have two users registered. If I just click on Bob's profile, you can see that this is basically what we had before, except there is this addition of this slightly too big default image. Um, and this is the avatar that we're going to be uploading. Um, and it's obviously speci specific um, to each user. So if I just go back to our profile list and go to my user, uh, my profile, um, you can see we have this different image. Um, the images are resized, their, fit, um, their width is fit to 200 pixels, which is obviously too big because well, that image is huge, um, and the height is scaled to keep the aspect ratio the same. Um, I'm doing it this way because I covered the slightly more, com well, slightly better method in my opinion anyway, um, of sort of cropping the image as well in my um, gallery, uh, my single page gallery tutorial or whatever it was called. I can't remember, I don't think it was single page gallery. Anyway, um, is it relevant? So yeah, that's what we're going to be creating. Um, and the way this is edited is by using the edit profile page, which is one of the other pages that we created in the profile tutorial. So if I just go to the edit profile page, you can see again this is basically what we had before, except we have this addition of the file upload field. Um, just to sort of make this a bit easier for people, people to use, if nothing is specified for this field, um, the avatar won't be changed. It'll just be left as it is. Um, so they don't have to like select their avatar every time they want to update their profile. Um, unfortunately, well, obviously you could. I was going to say unfortunately you can't show the value inside this field for like security reasons, um, just to prevent you sort of getting random files from the user's computer without them knowing. Um, but you could show the their current avatar in an image tag, like just above this field or something. Um, but that's sort of user interface stuff, and as you can probably tell from the looks of this page, um, I sort of don't generally cover that in these tutorials. So let's just change my avatar. If I just click on the browse file input and select one that is a bit less apple-y, there's a butterfly somewhere that I often use. Where is it? Where is it? Ooh, that's wrong. Um, okay, let's just not spend too long looking. There it is. Hit open, hit update, your profile has been updated. If we now go back to our user list page and open my profile, you can see that my avatar has been changed. Um, and this image has been resized, um, even though I think the original ones are actually that size anyway. Um, but it does resize them, honest. Um, I could select another image to demonstrate further, but that seems slightly unnecessary. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Join me in part one, where I will be explaining the um, modifications to the file structure and probably getting on with the code because the modifications to the file structure is literally just creating a single folder. So thanks for watching and join me in part one, where I will start showing you how to make this sort of system thing.